Luna is about to complete a massive move and if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Ping the Charts here. Welcome back to another Luna Classic Analysis. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. In the previous video, you guys killed the 10 like goal, so let's see if we can get 15 likes on this video. As you can see on Luna Classic, we are still trading in between the ranges of 26 to 27, but it is becoming a little bit more bearish, and I'll show you guys exactly why. As you can see on this exponential movie averages, we are pushing lower and lower, and now we have officially broken that support level and traded below it, and now we got the confirmation for another rejection candle as you guys can see on the previous support levels once we hit that level we bounce cleanly right above right you can see over here on this previous analysis right down here you can see that we had a bounce and we pretty much traded right back up another bounce traded right back up but now we are seeing a different formation on the charts now we are seeing us trade around that support level right here at 26 and you see we aren't seeing the same bounce formations that we saw previously we are now trading in between these ranges and this is becoming more and more bearish for luna classic the overall perspective is still the fact that we might hit that 22 bart formation which pretty much started over here and can possibly be looking at that trade zone as a bounce for support but it if we break that support level, we will definitely be hitting around the 18 mark where the BART initially started and then getting that confirmation for a possible move to the upside. Overall, the chart on the 4-hour does look bearish because we are creating lower lows as we are pushing lower. So there is absolutely no reason to take any long positions. It doesn't look like there's any sort of news updates in terms of Luna Classic as of right now, but we can possibly be looking for a potential scam weight going to around the 28 level and then a possible move set to the downside. Now over here on the hour, Hourly, we can see that we have pretty much the same sort of formation but we are trading a little bit higher on the exponential moving averages by doing so this is still a bearish confirmation but I, if we can get above this level here where we're seeing resistance at 27 this would be a good analysis to take that long position for that scam wick until we trade below those levels this is still no reason to take that long so keep in mind guys even though the rsi is neutral you don't want to be a caught out on a massive move to the downside right we pretty much have multiple in indicators showing the fact that luna classic is bearish so the only type of trading that you would look for right now is going to be a short position if we do see a move to the upside and we see that scam wick pushing forward, we can possibly be looking to short that wick like we did over here where we saw that wick, we saw that short, and then we took the opportunity to the downside. But if we do get a clean break above, now a clean break would look something like this, right? Where you see a clean break above, that would be a good indication to take that long position on that support and took for that major take profit level around that 31 to overall 39 level. Now, of course, the overall perspective on Luna Classic, once that bar formation is completed we can see that this could just be a huge consolidation range right we still have to account for that the fact that luna has been in this massive consolidation range with these huge pumps and we have seen this so the overall perspective on luna short term could still be bullish right we can still use this as a massive consolidation and then another leg up pushing to around that 70 to 80 mark and just use the rest of this as noise that can definitely happen so if you guys are trying to dca into luna classic you can start looking for some long positions around these levels right once you hit that bottom right here you can take that long position and maybe ride the wave up and again this is up to you depending on how you like trading but in my opinion overall right now we have two scenarios right if we trade above on the four hour to that 31 level we can be looking for some long positions but as long as we trade below that 27 mark we are still short-term bearish and looking to take or close the trades around that 22 to 18 mark but that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and i hope you guys have a wonderful day